Well, welcome back, guys, to another episode of Subnautica Below Zero. Nighttime out. And uh, it's time to start over again because uh, we died from lack of oxygen yet again. Th this time, we we missed the high oxygen tank somewhere. So we need to find that before we start trying to go down too deep because it just having 75 O2 is just miserable, right? And we had the we had the uh, we had the blueprint for the ultra high capacity, which would have been even better. This so clearly we missed the high oxygen you on company somewhere, space so. bucks, Robin. You sure uh, you want this? The research is in everything. It is to me. Well, All right, time to speed run back to where we were. We're basically going to become speedrunners with how many times we're going to die throughout this playthrough. I don't plan on you guys watching me play uh, through the entire thing over again, so... Hopefully, these next clips will be a montage of getting back pretty much where I was before, so... Wish me luck. One of the cool things that... One of the main reasons why I play hardcore is I love learning what I did wrong and like improving on it like it, you gain so much knowledge from from the last death that you can take going in the next one um, I just like that so much and I like to believe if I'm subnautic and I'm playing this game and I'm this person I like to think that they only have one life too and they're not like eaten by a leviathan and they just wake up in their base um, I mean just thought I'd give some, some context on why I like playing hardcore Found the drop pod. is it for everybody no Heck no, it's not. Am I a masochist? Yes, very much so. Just to find a date, let alone on a mostly uninhabited water planet, but you, actually, you know what? what? Forget I said anything. Oh my gosh, yeah, see it's, monkey. It's not even a real thing, That's my scanner. Anyway, um, I'm sorry to hear Xenoworks might be strapped in the revenue department. Sounds like Give they still back. have you busy Xeno working though. I know there's no way to guarantee an alien intelligence so startup will succeed, but you've put so much into it. I hope they Get find a way to keep going. I know how much it means yeah, to you sure. getting to work in a small place where you. So one of the things I learned from last run was uh, with base placement. I felt like our base was too far away from where we wanted to go, and the back and forth trips was way too much. So I, I think I'm gonna get a little risky and put my base uh, farther away, and then. Probably in between those two biomes, there's like the uh, the shark biome, which is where you get the table pearl, and then there is the um, the mushroom biome, or like the uh, the one where we got the spiral plant fibers. So I think I'm gonna put it probably in between those two. I think that'd be a good place to put it. The Sea Glide is a personal transportation device used for high speed free diving. Contains a built in light and map. Well, let's just build our first base here. It's like right next to the island. We got these geothermal vents, which I think we could use for some power. And the, uh, the architect sanctuary is right down there. Yeah, of course those things are right there though too. Hmm. It'll be fine. For you, you'll get the hell out of here. 
Sorry, I don't know what's good for me. Use beacons to Stop right there, Altera. You're out of bounds. I'm not with Altera. Then your position Hello again. is doubly Great precarious. Thing. What do you mean? Just look at him. What am I doing? I'm not doing anything. Let's just take this to a vote. All those who What is that? Is an arrow pointing that way? Pathfinder tool. I haven't found this yet. Interesting. Oh, that's what that arrow. Oh. We go again. All right. Here we go again. What did we learn from the last death? Nothing we didn't already know. Oxygen is important when you're under the water. Uh, let's go! All Terra supply cash nearby. All Terra supply cash? Emergency supply cash? Why have I never seen this before? This is well, my like fifth time we started. And now you're just like, oh yeah, there's a supply cache over here. Okay, game. Thanks for that. Maybe they just put it in there because they're like, oh, this guy has already died so many times playing hardcore. We should probably give him something to start with. Ah, oh, thanks, game. Thanks a lot. If I was quick enough and I didn't panic, I could have used my air bladder to give me 15 more oxygen, I would have lived. But it's not good to think on the past, guys. Think through the future. Watch this be the, uh... Oh, I hope it's the... The, uh... Next O2 tank. They're like, oh, this guy keeps dying from drowning. Probably. Probably show him where it's at. No way. It's totally gonna be that. Mineral detector. I'm telling you, Sammy, you see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck. More vandalism? Was it the sea monkeys again? I don't think so. I can't shake the feeling this planet is cursed. <laughs> There's no such thing as a curse. Yeah, you're probably right. That's nothing. You wouldn't want to hear about it anyway. Just a huge creature frozen in ice. What? Where? In a cave, not far from your lab. And here's the extra weird part. As soon as I called it in, they closed off the area. Don't want anyone going in there. But why? Sammy, I'm no biologist, but I think there was something wrong with it. Its skin just seemed off. Alien. An alien on planet 4546B. No. I'm serious, Sam. Something ain't right. Wish I could show you, but I can't get back in there. You can't, but I might know how to. Whatever you're thinking, we never had this conversation. Use beacons to mark traverse territory. Sound like a few of them. Oh, there's two. Oh, but this one just gave a creature egg, not the actual. <gasps> my, my. Pick it up! Replenish. We gotta go. No shot do I die right here. Okay, we're good. Oh my gosh. Dude, I looked it up. In hardcore, 
they took away the warning that tells you you're running low on oxygen. Why? Why? Who? What feedback did you get warning. from somebody? Passing 100 meters. And they're like, Passing you know what would be a good idea decreased. for hardcore? Let's just remove the oxygen warning. Just, just, you know, go ahead and remove it. It's fine. Nobody needs it. No, we need it. Why would you do that? This game's already tough enough. Oh, that scared me, my heart. Dear Lord. The woman in the exosuit has been traced as far as my technology will allow. Storage medium expected. Brace from Chester. Brace? Ah! Interesting. I've never been here before. I just kept following the uh, the big island that we started on. And now I have no idea where I'm at. I know the jellyfish are right below me. Which probably means those giant other monsters are as well. But it looks like I can get on land right here. Uh, these are some plants I've never seen before. Some pouch bulbs. And a violet snow cone. You got any fruit on you? I can't get anything off of them. Oh, there's a building over there. Question is, do I want to try and make it over there? The answer is yes, I do. Just hug the wall and I'll be fine. Check this out. Oh, this is a big area. Man. Am I gonna find another crazy lady? Ooh, steam vent. How do I get up there? Come on, oxygen tank. Zeta, I have kind of a funny question for you. Have you picked up any kind of unusual interference during any of your robotics work? You mean like Parvin looking over my shoulder and telling me I'm assembling my circuits wrong because it's not how his dad did it back in the day? <laughs> no. Like electrical interference in the audio or video. Any kind of flickering or clicking. Huh, can't say that I have. Why? Oh, so it doesn't extend as far as the bay. What doesn't? When Fred was bringing me for my eval, we detected something, almost like an SOS. At Delta? How retro. What was causing it? I think architects are trying to communicate with us. You always think that. Look, it may be my job to always think that, but I'm very good at my job. Not that HR seems to care. I won't breathe a word of this to Emmanuel. Thanks. You're a good friend. Okay, we already got the, that SOS. And uh, it's pretty spooky. Now I got an alien inside my head. All Terra facility beacon detected nearby. Unique identifier, Fire Robotics Center. Will this warm me up being in here? Okay, it does. I was gonna say if it didn't, I was screwed. I was looking for a steam vent. I didn't find any. Marbled anemone. 
Wow, this is huge. Oh my gosh. Buy robotics landing pad. Here. Five robotics. This is where Sam worked. Snowbox hover pad fragment. Hover pads. Oh. The hover pad is deployed with pad equipment. Rapid snowbox assembly and repair, recharge via magnetic to thermal energy conversion, most commonly used for land based operations and loaded medium gravity. Definitely help me get around this place. This place is massive. Sam loved working here with her spy pinglings. Do all humans like work? The lucky ones do. Are you lucky? I used to think I was. Ooh, laser cutter. Nice. One of three. I'm always down for a poster. Give me what I want. The upgraded, just high capacity. Oh, glacial basin now. Where are we? Right here? New technology acquired. Man, this place is massive. This must have been Sam's Aww, bed. Aw, Sam's bed. But something's not right. Something's not right? What do you mean? It's just a bed. How could you possibly look at this and be like, something's Hi, not right? How's everything at Pengling Central? <laughs> oh, fine. But I haven't heard anything since giving the footage to Zeta. It's been, what, a week? Did she promise you a report? No, but I expected some kind of reaction. Maybe I should take it up with Emmanuel. It is Kara, after all, and it could cause a lot of suffering if it got out. And why would it get out? We have professional containment and know how to neutralize it in an emergency. Sam, I love you, but you don't know what you're talking about. You love me wait why do you know so much about this it's my area of research why are you being evasive <sighs> oh i'm gonna tell you something and then you have to drop this crusade you're on before you damage your career we're researching the bacteria what kind of research are you doing i don't want you worrying about this we are aware of the possible downsides, but they're far outweighed by the potential. That's as much as I can tell you. <sighs> Sam. I, I need to think. I have to go. Oh. Hey, Sam. Oh, hey there, pangling buddy. <laughs> Hi, Fred. What brings you this way? I was just passing by. Lillian wanted a hand with a deep dive out in the bridges. You know, I think she's right. There is some weird stuff out there. The clicking sound? An SOS. I heard it with my own ears. So you think she's right? There's intelligent life down there? I don't know. I'll leave that to you scientist types. This scientist is more at home with these penglings. But if my sister was here, she'd be all over this. Wait, are you telling me you're not the brains in the family? <laughs> oh, my family has many different brains. Like a... A hydra? Uh, well... <laughs> Oh, friend. <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, I, I like that analogy. Makes it hard to get along sometimes, but it's never dull. Oh, Fred. All right, well, this place is huge, so it's going to take a bit to uh, discover it, and I've already died and remade my character twice now. Um, so I think this is going to be the full episode. So. Thanks so much for tuning in if you guys watched all the way to the end. Thanks so much. We almost caught back up to where we were before we died. Um, so yeah, looking forward to I mean, this is a new place. Never found this place before. So it's going to be a lot of good exploration on the next episode. Uh, until next time, guys. Peace.